Welcome back to Yoshi Entertainment, everybody. So just recently, Keith Lee made the headlines all over social media due to his food reviews that he was doing. You know, he was going through Atlanta restaurants, just giving his honest opinion on how the service was and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So he's making a lot of headlines, like I said, because there were two particular restaurants I want to focus on in this video particularly that he went to in Atlanta and people have been saying apparently allegedly for quite some time now that these Atlanta restaurants have been acting real brand new. The service is raggedy. They're very disrespectful to their customers. They act like they don't know where they came from. Like I said, allegedly they've been saying this for quite some time now. But Keith Lee took to the internet and he wasn't angry. He wasn't, you know, spazzing out if you will. He wasn't tweaking or whatever. He just gave an honest and actually quite nice review he could have said a whole lot of things about these people but he didn't so there was one restaurant called the real milk and honey he said that he went there or he wanted to go there now he knows that he has some fame you know he's not the most famous person of course but he doesn't like going into restaurants and disrupting you know their work day their workflow so he would sometimes send his family in to get food for him because his family's not as well known they were looking on the website Yelp, if I'm not mistaken. They tried to use the number to do a call-in order only to find out apparently that the restaurant was not taking any call-ins nor were they doing any online orders through any delivery apps like DoorDash. So they just said, you know what, we'll just go inside. What do these people, these raggedy individuals, yeah, I said it, tell his family, oh, we're not taking any more customers because we're doing a deep cleaning, even though there were people right in the restaurant eating right there. They go back and tell Mr. Lee what happened, and he decides, you know what, I'm just going to go in there. Some people do recognize him, and they treat him starkly different from the way they treated his family. So what I'm picking up from the situation... They didn't want to be bothered with these people because they thought they were regular, average, everyday people. Didn't know that they were related to a whole celebrity. Like I said, they switched up real fast. He said he did not like how they handled his family, mishandled his family, actually. And he even said in one of the videos that he made that he was upset about it, which I don't blame him for because had that been my family, I would have been pissed very much so and he respectfully declined to patronize their services which was the right thing to do and the sad part is he could have really looked out for them he might have even wanted to bless them with some extra money on top of what he was already gonna pay but because they were so rude and disrespectful to people who they basically thought were nobodies because that's how some of these little establishments act some of these managers these ceos these owners of businesses like i said they forget where they come from and who's keeping them in business the people like his family, his wife, his children, his sister, his mother, his mother-in-law, those are the people keeping these people in businesses, but they have the audacity to treat them like this. Like I said, it's raggedy. Now, he let everybody know that he was not saying that. He wasn't, you know, retelling all this, his experience to dog these people. He didn't want his followers, his fans dogging them. You know, he was just giving an honest review, which I'm glad that he did because we need to know how these restaurants are treating people before we waste our time, money, and gas going over there to get disappointed and disrespected. He was a lot better and a lot nicer than a lot of people would have been because some people walking around out here, they would have bought the building and then fired everybody just because they got offended at what they did. But like I said, Keith Lee handled it very, very maturely. He, he really set a good example, I'll put it that way. Did a whole lot better than some people that I know would have done. And to add insult to injury and to really only make themselves look worse and add fuel to their own fire, they had the audacity to release a video where they were trying to, I guess, be sarcastic, I guess, to save face at how salty they were, that they missed out on that big paycheck that they could have had by saying, oh, who is Keith Lee? You don't know who that is? And it was just really classless and tactless, if you ask me. It only made them look worse, really. They even tried to put out an apology post, but they really just said a whole lot of nothing. And it really just showed people how full of it, and when I mean full of it, full of crap, they really were. But at this point, I think people understand where they're coming from. That was the assignment. People understand that. They just need to move accordingly. Now, if you think those people had some audacity, oh, wait till you hear this. So then he went to another Atlanta restaurant. It's like, how do y'all have two fumbles in the same city back to back like this? They really should be ashamed of themselves. But like I said, he goes to another restaurant and basically he sends his family in. Like I said, he's doing the routine thing. He doesn't want to disrupt their workflow. He sends his family in there to order something. They tell these people, his family, Oh, it's going to take like an hour and a half, an hour and five minutes to seat you. So they go back in and tell him. And he was like, nah, no good and doggone well. He gets out once again. And when he goes in there, what do they tell him? Oh, we can seat you in five minutes. 
And he was like, but my family just came in here and y'all told them an hour and a half, an hour and five minutes. How did it go from over an hour to five minutes from them to me? And all you heard was them fumbling over their words. Oh, well, you know, this happens, this and this happens, that. Trying to come up with any raggedy excuse that they could. Nobody was here for it. He said, you know what? That's okay. This place is not the place for us. But y'all have a good day. Y'all be blessed. He really just, like I said, he handled it very maturely. He even was very godly about it, if you will. He said, you know, y'all be blessed, whatever. And he left. And once again, he said that this was not to try and, you know, defame these people. He just wanted to do an honest review. Once again, I'm glad that he put this out here so people can see how these people be out here. Like I said, acting real brand new. You get a little bit of power, a little bit of, you know, some kind of manager position. You get a little bit of money. You're moving a little bit differently. This stuff goes to people's heads. Just like I said, you can't put celebrities on a pedestal that goes for these restaurant chains, these little restaurants, these places. And like I said, people have been saying some of these restaurants are overhyped, especially the ones allegedly that are ran by or started by celebrities. Don't believe the hype. Go over there, find out for yourself if you want to take that risk, I guess. But don't just be putting them on a pedestal because of something you saw on social media. Now, what annoys me and bothers me is that there were some people trying to make it seem like Keith Lee was trying to like stir up some mess or be negative towards these um, restaurants. And I'm like, that's the most like, why, why does it seem so stereotypically black? You know, when you try to tell somebody something to better them, to point out their flaws, even when you do it in the nicest way possible, they respond by being prideful and making it seem like you're just trying to tear them down. No, they're trying to help you. Because once again, it was Keith Lee this time, but you don't know who it could be next time. Like I said before, some people out here, they have the kind of money. You piss them off, you make them mad, you treat their family bad. They will have you shut down because they have those kind of connections. They have that kind of money. Some of those people don't play around like that. When they get offended, they act out of that offense. They're not going to be like Keith Lee. So I feel like low-key, this is probably a warning to some of these people. God sent even, maybe, to let them know they need to clean up their act before something worse happens next time. Now, I said some people were trying to make it seem like Keith Lee was doing some disservice or that he was being rude or being negative, but Twitter was not having that, okay? They said that there will be no Keith Lee disrespect or slander on this bird app, okay? They came for everybody who was trying to make it seem like Keith Lee was doing something wrong when he was not. Once again, his feedback could really get these restaurants to wake up and do better before they hit the wall. But once again, like I said, this is what happens whenever you are dealing with individuals who have gotten to this point in their lives. Like I said, they got a little bit of money, a little bit of some kind of status. They feel like they're up on the world because they're a manager, restaurant owner, that they don't have to service people. When you're in customer service, you're a servant, essentially doesn't matter where you are in the chain of command. You got to treat people right despite where they come from. You got to treat people with respect. Once again, these same people who they disrespected, those are the same people who keep them in business. If the regular average James and Joes, not the people who are celebrities, stop going to these restaurants today, all of their employees, the managers, and the owners would be screwed over. This also comes out of black people because this was a black people problem. Wanting to be business owners and entrepreneurs, wanting to have that title by their name while not actually having the accountability and the responsibility that business owners and entrepreneurs have. You can't be unprofessional and disrespectful calling yourself a business owner. No, you're ratchet. That's what you are. You can't be out here wanting to run stuff and own stuff and run people, but don't even know how to run your own attitude. Don't know how to be respectful, like I said to the people who, like these people in the Twitter comments, are keeping your lights on. I wish for once some people would decide to respond accordingly. Like I keep saying, once people show you who they are, respond accordingly, believe them, and start retaliating by where they do and don't go where they spend their money to show some of these people who's really in charge people really need to start only going places where they are respected where their money is respected where their time is respected where they as a consumer despite how much money they have whether they're rich or poor are respected these people cannot do their job teach their employees how to do their job and make sure that their business is being managed properly and correctly and respectfully and professionally, then you don't buy the stuff that they're selling. If anything, this situation has taught us, it is how to respond. Like I said, once again, I'm gonna keep repeating it. 
when people don't respect you as a customer, as a patron of their service. They're here to serve you, not the other way around. And I can say that because I've worked in customer service before. I've always believed in being respectful to people despite their background, how much money they make and what they look like. The ball is in the court of the customer. As far as I can see it, the customer has the ability to respectfully humble some of these people who have become very prideful to the people, once again, that's keeping their lights on. But anyways, y'all let me know what y'all think and how y'all feel down in the comments below about all of this. Don't forget to like and subscribe and y'all have a very blessed day.